Hello friends, today we will look one important topic about amino acid derivatives. So these are the some important molecule which are derived from the amino acid and they have various role in our body. So first one that is cyclosarin. So which is working as an anti tubercular drug and basically it is derivative of sarin. From the name you can understand sarin is present so you can remember that cyclosarin which is derived from the sarin so that is working as the anti tubercular drug another one important derivative of sarin that is aja sarin which is working as a anti-cancer drug so basically that aja sarin inhibit reaction where amide group are added so in various reaction of this particular dna replication amide group is need to be added and that amide group needed and that reaction is inhibited with the help of this adjacerin so with this reaction this adjacerin molecule is working as the anti-cancer and basically it is derived from the serine amino acid which is hydroxyl group containing amino acid further one more important derivative that is histamine which is an important mediator of a allergic reaction from the mast cell particularly histidine amino acid from that histidine decarboxylation reaction will occur and histamine is generated which is mostly responsible for the allergic reaction Further, one more important derivative that is thyroxine, which is basically working as a thyroid hormone. This thyroxine is derived from the tyrosine amino acid. So tyrosine from that thyroxine is derived from the histidine, histamine is derived and from the serine, adjacerine and cycloserine. So sometimes one of the important molecule can be asked as a MCQ. Suppose MCQ is asked which one is working as an anti tuberculous drug. So four option is given like cyclosarine, adjacerine, histamine and thyroxine. So you have to select that cyclosarine. So this type of MCQ or sometime viva question can be asked from this point. Further amino acid derivatives of importance in that further some important neurotransmitter we will look. So particularly GABA and dopamine both are working as a neurotransmitter. Apart from this dopamine there is a some important neurotransmitter like norepinephrine and epinephrine or simply we can say noradrenaline and adrenaline. So GABA that is gamma amino butyric acid which is derived from the glutamic acid or the glutamate. From the glutamate decarboxylation will reaction will occur and from that GABA is generated for that vitamin B6 is is needed but here at present you have to remember GABA and dopamine these are the important neurotransmitter GABA is simply derived from the glutamic acid or glutamate and dopamine is derived from the tyrosine basically from the tyrosine three important neurotransmitter is derived that is dopamine norepinephrine and epinephrine further about this GABA you have to remember GABA pentin can cross can pass blood brain barrier and can form GABA means gamma amino butyric acid in the brain and this GABA basically working as an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Suppose the deficiency of GABA that is leading to the convulsion in a mostly young child. So that importance you have to remember or important derivative of this amino acid that is GABA that you have to remember as a neurotransmitter. For the histidine which is important amino acid basically for the purpose of the buffering activity mainly in the blood blood pH is maintained with the help of histidine buffering activity which is mostly found in the hemoglobin and albumin for the ornithine and citrulline these two are called as a not present these particular called as a amino acid which are not present in the protein and they are derived from the arginine arginine that is also a one type of a basic amino acid and from that ornithine and citrulline is derived that also we will look particularly in the urea cycle so it is intermediate of a metabolic reaction intermediate particularly urea cycle so ornithine and citrulline basically this from the ornithine that one polyamine that is putrescine is derived and that is polyamine which is derived from the ornithine that is working as a various role in a cell regulation as well as cell growth mediator that ornithine is working or playing lots of role so ornithine and citrulline that is also called the important derivatives of the amino acid so these are the few examples that you have to remember sometime this topic can be asked as a short note or some point can be asked as a viva or mcq points so that's all about the important or amino acid derivatives of the importance